person to another. I was very fortunate when I was growing up that, that um, as far as my bel canto training was concerned, I had mother who, who helped me so much. She was taught by a pupil of, of Marchese and had at my disposal all the wonderful um, uh, books of vocalises which I studied as a child. I heard her singing them and I just copied her. I didn't actually, I couldn't read music. I was three, four, five years old. My father uh, is still now, he has still now a beautiful tenor voice and... Uh, wonderful tenor voice. And he's closing uh, right in the, in the passaggio, like I would like to hear many young uh, singer or student of this day to do, just to, to, to make the voice grow and grow and grow more and more and, and come elegant and dark. And uh, it was for me almost impossible to escape to that trap of my father because he brought home all the records of the greatest tenor of the past, beginning with Caruso, uh, Gigli, Perti, Le Schipa, Björling, uh, all of them, Tucker, everybody, Di, Di Stefano, Tagliavini, I, I, I hear all the, the bel, what we call the bel canto uh, tenor. It's strange that my path is somewhat similar to both of theirs in so much as that I had a parent, my father, who had a very beautiful tenor voice, and he, although he did not want to teach me himself, he was there guiding, watching, saying, you know, there is a natural placement there. Don't let anybody fool around with a natural placement. And I started studying much too young, but at least he was watching over it. Uh, I started at five. And it's, it's I'm wild. Too young, yeah. it's a, I said, it's a miracle I'm still singing. <laughs> so I think I began as a soprano because I began so damn young. Yes. Be who's got any chest voice at five years of age? <laughs> <laughs> we have so any chest at five years of age. <laughs> Alexandra, that's another thing. And, and I can remember very clearly at about 15 years of age, I suddenly had another whole octave on the lower part of my voice. something very, like very much to the point there because here's a, an example of what we were talking about before not only is the legato exceptional exceptional it's wonderful legato but you see getting from the middle voice which starts here middle voice to a very low note which many singers would bash out on the yeah. chest I, ja one. Jackie show me show me how a certain oh, singer would I'm, sing I'm that. a great basher <laughs> show me how a bad singer would sing that phrase <laughs> But so, so he's but, wanted but, to but we listen to it all the time <laughs> yes. in the theatre. Yeah. Of, of course, bel canto, although it's beautiful singing, that doesn't mean just just singing beautiful long flowing phrases. It also means uh, doing all sorts of hair raising tricks. Bel canto also becomes, a, in in many ways, a great circus act because it, it, there are so many things which are of enormous difficulty to perform. <laughs> Joan always told me that when she was very young, she used to go into the gardens and, and imitate the birds, and she learned it till that way. Wonderful, because it was something that came easy and, and naturally. Jenny Lind, in, in her book on singing, gives very difficult exercises to, to learn the trill. She gives like this. And doing them very slowly on all tones. And then she says that if you do that for a year or two years, you may be able to learn the trill. I want to know, how did you learn the trill? I didn't read Jenny Lynn's book, but I decided that if I took two notes mm. very slowly and speeded them up, mm. then I would get my trill. Mm -hmm. And that, that's how it happened. Mm. Luciano, you, oh, I learned from the bird. You learned from the bird, too, yeah? <laughs> I learned from the bird. In fact, I can do... Perfect. Another thing you can you have to learn to trill on the full tone and on the semitone, right. which is something that many singers don't understand about. Right. I mean, to trill on the full tone, it's darling, do it for me. <laughs> do on the full tone.
Do us a beautiful mezzo di voce. In other words, a mezzo di voce starts piano, a big crescendo, and a big decrescendo. Yeah. And so and many singers can do the first half, but they can't do the second half. Do you know um, that I once had a very famous Italian mezzo soprano tell me, now listen to this, that the, that the term mezzo di voce doesn't exist in Italian? She's right. Okay, so tell me mezzo, what... Mezzo di voce is position of voice. Okay, so what is this called? Mezzo voce. No no. No no, 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 quando no. si comincia... Yeah, but they say mezzo di voce is written in the old Italian. In the old Italian. Italian. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Now, that mezzo soprano then is talking about modern language, right. who is not, it don't exist anymore, but it means something else. It means position. It means support. It means... Uh, mesa. Mes, mesa di voce. Mesa means... Mesa means exactly. put, 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 put yeah, in, in place. Voice, put yeah. in place. And, and this is obviously an exercise to put the voice in place. You, will never, in place. Uh, you will never hear any critic who write down Mesa di voce. We often read in the newspapers about fioritura. I wonder, does, does everybody know exactly what fioritura means? It, it, in a, it's an Italian word, which means flowering. And, and uh, it, it means that a, a line of music, a, a melody, becomes decorated and, 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 and adorned. And, for example, if you take something like a little piece like Home Sweet Home. You, you can play that melody, which is dead simple. If a, a singer of, of the 19th century in singing that might well have sung. There are, there are a hundred thousand ways to decorate. Should, should we show something uh, to, to explain what we mean? Um, what about the tanti palpiti? I could do like the first phrase and... and do do it bare and then bare. do it ornamented, okay. just to show. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Okay, now it comes back, the reprise. Yeah. You even did not take much as long as the yeah. bigger than For example, the same thing, yeah. uh, the, the sonambla. Just sing with it, if you forget the word, sing with it. Belcanto is, is working at its fullest when the human voice is singing perfectly. It's something we all want, something we all desire, and it doesn't happen too often, but, but that is, then the, that is the only instrument which, which one wants to hear, really. <laughs> 